There's my dad. Oh, he's bringing. It's, we're at the gun show right now. All right, I really haven't uh, done too much vlogging while I'm here. You know, you end up uh, coming home on vacation, and you're like, "Why would I want to talk to a camera?" So um, it's been a good visit. We did not eat out once. Uh, we cooked the meals, and everyone liked the meals. Thank you, Jesus. So. Uh, it's been good. I've been done really well. Proteins has been rough. I brought some already made shakes, but my dad doesn't have a blender and I didn't want to bring my blender with me. So I didn't bring any like, uh, ISO pure shakes or anything. So the first, the first day I kind of went through a little, um, like what I would call protein deficiency. I could feel it in my muscles and everything. So I wasn't very good and I, I kind of felt funky. Um, but other than that, I, everything went really well and no complications, didn't get dumping or anything like that, which has been good because I'm, about every other day I feel nauseous. So, um, but since I've been here, I haven't. It's a really refreshing trip. Uh, this is where I grew up. <laughs> the house is kind of falling apart and everything, but, uh, since my mom died about eight years ago, but this is my backyard. So, big old country backyard. That house is since I've moved out. It used to just be woods behind our house. So, big yard. So, it's, it's nice to be home. Right now it's like, oh gosh, it feels like it's 70 degrees out. It feels awesome. So, I'm kind of sad to leave because of that. But, uh, go back to the cold Chicago weather. So, even though we're only five hours south, it's uh, quite a bit of difference. Hey guys, well, Happy Thanksgiving. Um, I don't know if you're going to get this on Thanksgiving or the day after. I'm a little late on posting the last part of my vlog, but the special little announcement for CS Percussion, it's out. I'm going to do this ghetto style um, just so that I can show you, but this is it. CSPercussion.com. I love it, and I'll set up a little tripod action no I'm not gonna do that but uh it's pretty cool it's got my Twitter my Facebook fan page all that good stuff on it this is my CS percussion post and then my vlog post you can get to uh, my channels from here and then I've got like a biography so you can know me as a percussionist uh, I've got my gear and setup so you can actually see how everything is set up and see what kind of gear I carry. Then also I've got photos from different photo shoots so you can see me at shows and stuff like that and then I've got merchandise, all the CDs that I've been in and eventually I'm coming out with some shirts and hoodies. I'm working on those right now. You can actually click on them and play a song. buy them so check it out um, let me know what you think I would love some feedback on it so cspercussion.com I've been working on it for months now um, I actually hired a web designer to do it for me um, this kind of launches my whole ministry uh, more in depth um, it's just gotten so much I get so many responses um, through email and everything so I changed my email just for CS Percussion stuff, so it's now Staley at CSPercussion.com, and I'll handle everything through there. Uh, I'll be able to sell some merchandise, stuff like that. The, the CDs and stuff are more for, this is a place for fans of mine to be able to find my stuff. Um, it's not, I'm not really making any money off of it. The money is going to paying them and then shipping them to you. So, uh, but eventually t-shirts and stuff like that I'm going to come out with and it's not so that I can make a ton of money it's just that every time I have a video shoot which if you go in and you look at the pictures of the video shoot you'll see how much more detailed they are which how much work goes behind them and I mean my last video shoot that I was going to be doing here in December I emailed probably 25 people and that's what it takes to do one of these video shoots and so if there's a way that I can pay them back which I don't have any funds to do it but um, it's you know whether it's give them t-shirts or 
you know, whatever it is that I can do for them, I want to be able to do it for them. So that's why I'm, I'm selling stuff is just so that I can fund the ministry and do more things. I am going to be trying to take a trip down to Texas and see if I can't record with some artists down there this summer. Um, it just kind of depends on how things work out. So just check it out. I'll put a link in, in the pants area and uh, you can check it out and just tell me what you like. Comment on it. It'd be great. So the trip home was great. I loved it. The people came to us. I had family come to us. I mean, my niece was in from college and I thought, okay, maybe I'll see her for like a half an hour. She came and visited every day. So that was awesome. I got to see everybody except for one one niece who plays basketball and was at a basketball tournament all weekend. So my brother did some work on my car. You see from the video here that car's a little ghetto. <laughs> so uh, we're planning on getting a new one, but we just, hey, when, when the cars are paid off, if they're not broken, why get rid of them? Weight-wise, for a drummer, that was the worst drum roll ever. So, um... <laughs> I am down 61 pounds. I am now 409 from 470. That's huge. So um, I had a friend who Facebooked me and was like, you just lost the equivalent of my son, um, which his son is an older child than a large child. That That's huge for me. I feel great. I look great. Um, I'm happy with what I see in the mirror. Like, I want to lose more weight, don't get me wrong, but it's like, I'm happy. Like, I can see the difference. So, um, yeah, I got my hair cut. Ed had got his hair cut, so I thought, I can't do a video and not get my hair cut. I have to look better than him. So, uh, reinventing Ed. I'm looking good today. So, that's about it. I'm, I'm really going to try to keep this a little bit shorter. I had a great trip. Um, I did eat, I will say this, I ate at Bob Evans. And I'll show you the video now. Uh, no. You blowing on your food? Yeah. Uh, so we had to come to Bob Evans because we're on the road and couldn't find anything to eat. So everybody is eating this. Yeah, show my plate. <laughs> mm. And I'm eating. <laughs> Lots of differences. Bob Evans was awesome. I just said, hey, listen, here's the deal. We're halfway through a five-hour trip. I need to feed my family, but I have gastric bypass. I just had gastric bypass surgery. And unfortunately, I can't eat anything on your menu. I see you have egg substitutes. Can I just get some egg substitutes and uh, maybe some oatmeal or something like that, just so in case I didn't like the egg substitutes, I did that. And then I knew that they had uh, paste salsa, which I can handle paste salsa. So I thought that would give me a little bit, you know, extra flavor and stuff like that. Plus some vegetables. I mean, I'm not one of those guys that say french fries are vegetables or anything, but salsa is vegetables. So um, I got it, and they were awesome. They don't make oatmeal. They made me this bowl of oatmeal. It was disgusting. <laughs> Even, like, they said that they don't make oatmeal at night but they went ahead and made it for me they were so awesome they didn't even charge me for it they're like it looks like crap if you don't want it we understand and i'm like no i'll take it and i had like a spoonful and was like yeah it's crap <laughs> so, but they they did it and it was such a cheap meal <laughs> i mean we, we don't eat out but it was it's like amazing typically when i go out with my family to eat our bill after a tip was anywhere from 35 to 40 dollars this bill was 19 dollars and my wife got a special coffee drink uh, on top of her pop. And my my daughter, since she was so good that weekend, I let her get some ice cream afterwards. And it was only 19 bucks. And it's because of me. Like, that's how much I ripped my family off. I will say that I have started looking at our budget. And we are saving around $600 a month. By not eating out that's huge um, it's awesome it's so awesome I think since my surgery we have spent $40 that's we're going on almost two months we spent $40 on eating out that's with this one $19 trip and then my wife is uh, taking my daughter out once before 
and like little stuff. This being my first time to really eat out, I mean, not bad. And it's just going to get better because I'm not really planning on eating out much. So, big win. I'm going to be doing some videos this week. I'm going to start doing some videos that aren't vlogs. And I probably won't even face, post them on Facebook because they won't interest anybody on Facebook. But uh, they're what I've learned so far for gastric bypass patients. I'm going to do maybe one or two videos just to have them out there because has anybody seen the old videos that are the most popular? Like the girl that has, you know, 125 different vitamins she has to take every day, but the videos from like 2005, 2006. We all know that we don't have to do that now because they have vitamins for us. So it's, there's things that's like, I want this video to become popular for the next couple of years just so that people get the right information because I'm not going to go and ask that girl to take her videos down. You know, so people need to get good information. And I know that I had terrible information in the beginning because I didn't find you guys. All the guys that subscribed to me that have been making videos for a while, your videos aren't, we, we don't, our videos aren't found very easily. People have to look for us. But the ones that are, are from like 2006 or 2007, like, and so many changes have come to gastric bypass and weight loss surgery in general. And so... I want to get our videos more popular. So I just thought it'd be more relevant for people to say, hey, this is what somebody's learned so far. And I think I'll do them maybe every couple months. Like, well, this is what I've learned so far. This, And then a couple months later, this is what I've learned since last time. And just allow people to kind of get that information. What do you guys think?